Okay, first you pick your tensor imaging and load to the 3D graphic. Then you pick the fusion mode. Then you're going to go drag your blue box down all the way down to the brain stem. Okay, you see the brain stem there? We're going to get, um, we're going to do a double click, get a big image there. And then we'll change the orientation so that it's in an axial view. And then you're going to do your diffusion seed point. So I did find a code for um, 3D for MRI And to now it. you're going to hit control awesome. and left click your mouse and you're going to draw in all your seed points and you got to fill the whole thing in all the way I'm recording this and get all your edges too if you can because if you left the mouse up you're going to lose you're not going to be able to redo it so you think go up to the top a little bit Okay. All right, now when you let it up, you're going to right click and start tractography. And you've got your image. Go to the top, display, unclick anatomy, unclick. Um, More than cut in half. Sir. Right, and uh, you're going to. Yeah. Okay, you might want to turn the anatomy back on. Yeah, we still need that. That's right. We got to cut one half. We're figuring now out. you're going to have the yellow line on the sides, and to get a good hand. view, you get a, a, a um, obliqued image. I don't know if it's letting. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's letting. What the back? The little me. round blocks are the ones that turn it. So you're going to. You want a, um, let's so see, you want a uh, coronal image. Let's try a coronal image. Okay, now you got it. You're going to turn it a little bit so you can cut off that one side. <clears throat> and, about there. Mm -hmm. and now you're going to turn off your anatomy and turn off your orthogonal. And turn off your, there you go. Okay, now you're going to do your labels. Which that was the, hold on, what side was that left? That was the left. Brain stem. Left brain stem, you'll type in there whatever you want to call it. Coronal brain. Brain. Yeah. I'm going to just save it just for fun. And then you would do the same thing for the other <laughs> side. Good, that's the coronal. Now we want the sagittal. So remember, just save it as we're there. Right. Just save uh, it. Correct. <laughs> While you're there, left, left, sagittal brains. Okay. Now you want to do the other side where you go back to your. Let's. Would I go to axial first? You can. Then, then you turn your graphics, graphics back on, on and, and you're basically going to go flip your little flip a hundred, 180, 180 degrees. degrees. Which I never know which way to go, but oh, here, let's start with that one. No. Oh, why is it going to be so difficult? There we go. Mm, yep, there flip you go. That way. Come back out. We got all that, but we're gonna cut it off about there. What do you think? Yep. And display, take off, turn off. Yep, it's all off. Okay, it is off. And you want to so, get your sagittal view. Sagittal. I think we started with. Coronal. We started with the coronal, but you yeah. can do either one. So then I would. This is the right side now. Right. Coronal. That was not coronal. 
Okay, that is not Colonel Wood. No, that was an axial. It sure was. It now sure that I think was. about it, uh, uh, do see, at the bottom. It'd be that one. Yes. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you don't need an axial. <laughs> that okay. axial doesn't really do any good. <laughs> That's all foreign language what you guys are speaking right now. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. And then now you're sagittal. <coughs> and right. Sagittal brain. Now we gotta go do the corpus callosum. Exactly. Yay. Um, so quick question. Mm -hmm. 